Oh. Later, buddy. 24-16, second half action underway. The Tulsa Rebels down by eight, and John John Sammons skirts things off and cutting that lead down to six right away. He now has five. And here we're back down the other end. Will Schaefer in the corner to Marshall Tully. Back out to Schaefer. Schaefer over in the corner to Tully. Swing to Belcher. He's going to go in. And Harmon, no one box. How do you not box that man out? <laughs> yeah, they missed that, didn't they, Tony? <laughs> it's like we're getting a box out of silo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm that's a good. Grew up harvesting corn. I was gonna man. say farm boy. Good, farm. good analogy. <laughs> For the people in West Virginia, that'd be a cold, cold tipple. I mean, it'd be the same thing. Yeah, I guess. Uh, still getting used to that analogy. And Harmon running the floor. Here we go. Dave Ward. He's had a little ESP. He's had a little ESP with uh, Harmon all night. Anywhere Harmon's thrown that ball, I mean, Dave Ward's thrown that ball up the floor. It's been right on the money, and Harmon just putting himself in the right position to score. Nice oh. heads-up play by Dave Ward. Yeah, it was. Way to keep the play alive. Jesse Belcher. Good touch pass by Harmon. I don't know who Scott is. Hey, hey. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, man. Call a timeout. Put did, the fire out. Did uh, the Kingery switch that around to 75% offense and 25% defense? Hey, whether his back's hurting or not, I'd say he climbed somebody in the locker room, Tony, because we've not seen an offensive explosion like that all year, Alan. They put more points up on the board in 30 seconds than they did in the last three minutes of the second quarter. Yeah, <laughs> they put up six points and. uh you know, they had 24 at half. They're outscoring them. 6-2 run to open out the half. Four, uh... Who's playing again? Yeah, that's right. This guy's got... <laughs> uh, kind of look up. It, they look like them, them Wildcats down in the road. That's how fast Logan scores. No, I literally got blanked out on who was playing. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. It's been a long day, man. Uh, straight from work. This is our... Uh, it's our 18th broadcast. Congratulations. We never thought back on that lonely November day when we decided to do this. We'd be here. We'd like to thank all of our supporters. You know, November 17th, 2010. Yep. It is crazy. We've been at this for three months. John, it has been an absolute pleasure working with you and every, all the fans. Just an honor to be able to beat. This is us. Like We are the guys that are bringing this to everybody. And to me, it's an honor. You know, Nothing like this has been around. So we, try, we hope everybody enjoys the whole new level of access. You know, we're not done. This ain't just a one season done. It's going to be bigger and better next year. So just buckle up your seatbelts. Exactly. We, we hope to bring baseball to you. We, we'll we touch on that later in the year. We'll get back to the game here. We could go off on a tangent <laughs> real easy. Oh, surely we wouldn't do such a thing. I know. Not us, right? Because <laughs> John John Sammons couldn't connect on the three. The ball uh, re- rebounding goes to Jesse Belcher. He brings the ball up the floor. Mm, a little forearm. Yeah. Well, it, they, they've let it go both ways, Tony. We talk about it all the time. Consistency. There we go. Totally. i tell you what. That's like the third or fourth steal that man's had tonight if they're keeping the books right. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the steals. You miss some. But Austin Brewer firing up a long jump shot. No good. 32-18. Scott, their biggest lead of the night at 14. Jesse Belcher. Mm. Kept that pivot foot. Marshall Tully, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound offensive goes to Will Schaefer. Jesse Belcher, he knows what to do. Get it into that man. And he'll do that. Man, the, the evolution of Justin Harmon this year, Tony. We, I mean, we, from season preview, when we was in here watching practices in November to now, man, it's leaps and bounds. Good job, scout, coaching staff, coaching that boy up because he's got some. He's got he's got the size and he's got a little bit of athletic ability. Put him with a good coach, you know, coach staff that Kingery's got. They've helped him out. And Virgil, and Virgil Salmons there getting his first uh, uh, his second foul of the game as Harmon connects on the, those free throw attempts. Thirty five eighteen is your score. Scott up by 17 now. Again, only an eight-point lead at half. And a lot of them, they were down the whole first quarter. Good block, Ward. Ward with the block and Honeycutt with the rebound, but now it's stolen away by John John Sammons. He lost his dribble. He's going to go in 
Nice job there of just staying with that pivot foot and finding a way to get to the hoop with the drop step. Ward sunk up a little bit on him there too. It ended up in the paint, leaving that baseline open. He's trying to shut down the passing lanes. 35-20 is your score. Harmon, I mean Ward, excuse me. Harmon's on the bench right now. Will Schaefer with the rebound, though, offensively for the Skyhawks. Now back to Schaefer. Kick it back out Kingery's to Jesse pleading Belcher. with the ref, protect the shooter. Will Schaefer for three, and uh, King's going to take a 30-second timeout. I think what he was alluding to was the play before that one. He felt like Ward got hit after he shot as he was coming down. I'm just looking here at my card. All eight players that have been in for Scott have now scored. So a very, very, very balanced attack. And of course, they've been led throughout the way by Harmon with 17 points. And Dave Ward, I don't know, he's the second closest to him with six. And, um, you know, Marshall Tully with four, Will Schaefer with three, Belcher with two, Nevin Honeycutt off the bench with uh, two, Dolan with two, Cody Brown with two. That is just balance at its finest. Absolutely. When you get three guys coming off the bench contributing like that, I mean, that's huge for you. It does leaps and bounds for you. In many games, you know, if you got eight players that can put up points, that's tough to defend. I'll tell you what, the, the defensive pressure that Tully and Ward have brought tonight, we, we ain't seen that all year either. No, I mean, they bring defense, but normally, you know, Jesse Belcher, that little speedster, or little guys like that, Will Schaefer out there getting their hands out there. But we're getting, uh, yep, definitely by far the best defensive performance of the season by Ward and Tully. From what we can see, right. from, from the, this, the fourth Scott game we've been fortunate enough to cover. Yep. Thank you again to Coach Kingery for letting us get in Scott Skyhawk basketball family over here. Yeah, but Jason will tell you, it's, it's a four-quarter game. You don't want his guys to let up. I mean, he's not out to embarrass anybody, but he wants you to execute. Right. You know, they, they came out hot in the third quarter, but if you can bet if they go even lukewarm right here, he's going to be in somebody's grill. Dave Ward. That's the open gym Dave Ward we see. Yep. He's a slasher if he, uh, when he, you know, when he gets that lane, he'll take it. Yeah, he's now, athletic, for sure. Scott now doubling up Tulsa 40 to 20. A 16 4 run to open up the half for Scott in the first four minutes. 350 now and counting is the time remaining in the third quarter. John John Sammons going into the paint, kicking it back out to number 23. Morgan Stacy, that shot no good. Rebound good by John John Sammons and Dave Ward. <laughs> Matt Dolan, Jesse Belcher out to Dave Ward. Reward the big man. He took a. He lifted that back foot first before he put the ball on the deck. And Dave Ward's going to come out as, and as Nevin Honeycutt and Marshall Tully are going to come in and get Ward and Harmon. So the Twin Towers are going to take a break. Still doubling up. Tulsa 40 to 20. 3.30 to go in the third quarter. Yes, this is like a whole other Skyhawk team here with all this speed. Man, Kingery is a, is a situational subber, isn't he? I mean, he knows what, what his guys can and can't do and what he wants them to do when they're in there. Yeah, he does not mind using 40 substitutions a day, a, a game. <laughs> he, that's a, you know that's right on the money right there, John. We have an offensive foul underneath. Uh, probably going to give it to Harmon. We're going to give it to twelve. Mr. Schaefer. Will Schaefer. That'll be his second. And here we go. Back to the action. Tulsa Rebels. Out and up top to. 15, Brandon Clark. Virgil Sammons going to go up with it and getting it to fall. That's the first sign of life out of this Tulsa team, Tony. Yeah, it's only the third basket they've had this whole half, and we're five minutes into the third quarter at 3.09. Free throw front rim, no good. Harmon boxed the guy out, but he... He forgot to step up and get the yeah. rebound. He's boxed the guy out onto the three-point line. Yeah, he's taking him into the first row of the bleachers. And they're going to give a foul to 45. To Harmon. To Harmon. Mm. 
I didn't know you'd get a foul for boxing out too good. I didn't either. It must be something there we missed, Tony. Morgan Stacy. Over to John John Sammons. Pump fake. Oh, wow. They're going to get Will Safer with the foul there, but he looks like he got a lot of ball. King going to go back to these yeah. defensive specialists. Tully will come in and get him. Yeah, that'll be the fourth foul now on uh, Schaefer. I had him as three. I must have missed one there in the first half. Four team fouls to one in favor of Scott. But overall, just been a pretty foul-free game. You know, refs letting them play. I mean, you like to see that. You know, once it starts getting ticky-tacky, then you have to worry about the refs making the makeup calls. You know, you got the coaches going at them all the time. That's right. And sometimes it takes away from the game. You know, it changes the momentum like crazy when you have to just keep stopping play and putting some at the free throw line. And both free throws are good by Stacy. He now has five. 40 to 24. Scott's lead trimmed down to 16. Jesse Belcher now with the ball, finding Dolan cut good to cut. the lane. A nice vision there by Jesse Belcher. Good cut. We'll always be moving on the offensive end. 42-24. Scott's lead back out to 18. The shot up no good by Virgil Sammons. I tell you what, Sammons is not afraid to go out in the open court and guard somebody. <laughs> Dave Ward just out extended from the free throw line. Tully's going to get it into Harmon. He's going to kick it back out to Dolan. Now to Dave Ward. Dave Ward going to go into the paint. It's no good. Going to get Harmon back. with over the bag. That'll be his second. Mm. It's tough when you're that tall, Tony, not just to reach your hand out like he did. I mean, he didn't even really jump. He just, when he stuck his arm out, his armpit was laying on the dude's shoulder. You know, it's, it's a tough reflex call not to, you know, not to do that. Matt Dolan giving Morgan Stacy the baseline there. It must be something in the scouting report about that. Virgil, John John Sammons couldn't connect on the mid-range jump shot, but the rebound offense was going to end up in the hands of Stacy. Stacy now losing the dribble, gets it back out to John John. John John over to left-hand corner, Terry Davis. Shot up, no good. Rebound's going to go to Ward. Ward's going to push the ball up the floor. And Matt Tully, and King says, get him out. And he just kicked the water cup into the crowd. Yep. One lucky fan gets a souvenir. That's right. One of his JV players <laughs> took it right off the side of the face. Way to hang in there, young man. <laughs> oh, goodness. He got the apology. There, he's waving off to the face. <laughs> oh, got to love Kangaroo, man. Yeah, I don't feel like he'd, he, he'd never do it on purpose. He never would do something like that on purpose. Yeah. That, that man just lives in the moment. We have to make, we, uh, Kingery think he, he said he's going to do an interview with us after the game here if all goes well, so we'll have to remember to bring that one up. Yeah. Jesse Belcher, nice pass down to Harmon, but the foul's going to be on the floor. They're going to give it to Virgil Sammons. That'll be his third personal. Well, he's doing about all he can with Harmon. I mean, it's, he's outmatched, Tony. He's just outsized. I mean, he's wider than Harmon. I'll give him that, but, you know, you give up three or four inches in the post, that's tough. You can compensate for maybe some speed or some ball handling skills. You can't compensate for height. You can't teach height. Nope. Matt Dolan into Dave Ward. Back to Dolan. Nice ball movement by Scott. Jesse Belcher over to Matt Dolan. No good. Rebound's going to go to Brandon Clark of Tulsa. Had his feet set too, Tony. But probably maybe he'll cash that one in. I would have gave Logan uh, Scott their biggest lead of the night at 21. Shot deflected by Dave Ward. And Jesse Belcher coming up the rebound, finding Ward underneath the basket, across the, up the court, and Dave Ward connects. He now has 10. 44-24. Scott's lead back out to 20. 35 seconds to go in the third quarter of action. Morgan Stacy shot up, no good. Rebound's going to go to Austin Brewer. His turnaround put back is good, and he gets into the scoring books. Now all five scorers and all six players um, have scored for Tulsa, so there's been 14 players in the game. All 14 have some points. Yep. Well, Brewer finally got back in the game, Tony. He went down early in the first half, a couple fouls. Mm. Rim got in the way there. They love that cross-court pass, and just unfortunately the rim got in the way there. It's 
Tully affecting that one from behind. But he didn't stay with his man. 